Scratch my neck. It's not the shadow you guys think of, but it is a good shadow. Well, he dead, but we're gonna go check the other ones. I wanna steal that? Can't steal it. And now she wants to bark. What, Mimi? Are you looking for? Do you want the entire stream to just give you attention tonight, honey bunny? Is that what's going on? Miko, are you barking at the cats? She's like, no, mommy. She got an itty bitty bark. The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. Let's examine outfit. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. What's this? Some sort of note. Thirtieth of October. From G Miko. Quiet. Good puppy. From G. Mc McCullen to Dock Patrols. Subject: Multiple deaths in the clock re in the docks region. We believe a nasty leech is involved. Locate the beast, purge it, and quickly. Warning: According to recent reports, this vampire is a is very violent. Approach with extreme caution. I know we lack men in this part of town, but don't send rookies to investigate the case. If I'm correct. We've got a frenzied one killing each night. As always, search abandoned places first, like old houses, basements, sewers, or warehouses. Destroy the leech, brothers. These men, they're a company of professional vampire hunters. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. <laughs> He's just like, well, if I have to. And now Detective Batman is back. Or Detective Vampire Batman is back. Oh, I could have just made a Forever Night reference, but no one would have gotten that joke. Huh. Huh, that's cool. That is cool. So, money. Is there a way for me to duck, I wonder? No. Probably should put that away. Okay. You don't want to put that away. Fine. Over there! Oh, shoot. Shoot. Hi. Oh, shit. There we go. Oh, am I gonna have to actually kill him? I don't wanna. Okay. Ranged weapons. Equipped and press Y to use your ranged weapons and inflict both standard damage and stun damage. Ammunition oh. crate. Good. I may need a lot of bullets. I feel like I'm back on the front line again. I think I can just tap into stuff at this point. So, so that's where it stopped. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, thinks there will be a secret? I mean, hopes there will be a secret. What was the... Uh, skunk ape, I think. But it's fake. Oh! That's not going to be fun. I don't know if I can get him, though. 
Never mind, he knows I'm here now. Oh, she. Hi, buddy. I don't want to kill him. Look at it. Gone up like kingly. I guess you can do this entire, almost. All right, come here. You dead now? You dead. Shotgun shells. Also, that sucked. I really hope that was worth it. Find them secrets. I will find all the secrets. And money. Bing of money. Bits, please. Bits. All bits. Subscriptions. But don't forget if you get subscribe, you guys get some cool stuff. It's locked. Good for you. You figured out a locked door. Enemy card. I already saw that. You're gonna make me do it anyway. Do I have a duck button? No, I don't. Okay. That's what I was looking for, was a duck button. Stupid beast! <laughs> oh, crap! You know what's fun? Being caught in a corner! There, I bit him. He's now a vampire. You deal with him. What? That's not how we do this? Don't shoot me while I'm drinking blood! It's a dick move. You know what? No, I'm gonna go Jason Voorhees on your butt. Oh, wow. I do not like this game sometimes. Come here. I wonder if you could just knock- I would be nice if you could just knock him out. Oh, I forgot I can do that. And I can also do that! I'm gonna steal your shit too. <laughs> just to make it worse for you, mine. Thank you for the one- I like that I got a pity bit there. I didn't die. Technically, wouldn't the death counter have started already since I'm already- you know what? No. Let me make sure, is that where I have to go? That's where I have to go, which means maybe there's secrets? No. Tease me making that thing there, there's gonna be secrets. Hey, boom! Hmm. Hmm. What's this? Not something I can mess with, okay. I like their screams when you burn them alive. You guys are kind of sadistic, I don't like you. I was actually going to pick this up for the PlayStation 4 if we didn't. Okay, he's over there. He's over there. Last warning, sir. Oh, shoot. I didn't know you guys could see that far. I thought you were retarded. We won't see any of these bastards back here again. Oh, apparently he is. Hmm. I wonder if I can teleport myself over there. Stay close, keep an eye on each other. I'm, not when you burn I'm gonna try something. Alright, I cannot sneak! Bye! Thanks for the blood! Weehoo! Oh shit! That would have ended really badly for me. So it's there. I just avoid like a crap ton of combat. Oh, it's little mice. Oh, I can bite that little mice. I have this. Oh, First instead of biting the blood. humans, you can just do that. Um. I can't believe I'm 
doing this. Yeah, I can. So they're usually located near a hideout. You're a little mousy. This is despicable. If I knew what button you wanted me to press, that would help. Hold on. So I just avoided all that combat. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. I like that I'm just stealing crap from bodies at this point. Let's see now. Hmm. Are you one of the developers? Because you really look like you should be. Hmm. Okay, so that's a, probably that robber guy we saw. I know. Oh, a scythe! Two-handed weapon! Yay. I kind of like the stun, though. I'll use the scythe eventually. This place reeks of bloodshed. Oh, this seems really this seems like a trap actually. My arm. I can't feel it. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. Hi. <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm gonna go grab the scythe. Hold on. How do you... How do I equip it, though? That's my question. How do I equip it? Doesn't let you really equip. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Wouldn't that be really bad for you? I've got a. How do I equip a different weapon? Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely have to get my stamina. The next thing will be stamina. I think that might actually be the dev or something. William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? I knew him well, another lost. Soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. They'll stray without me. Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. 
William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fold. My flock needs me. Yes, uh, go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. All right. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Is there anything else we can steal in here? I mean, we need to do more re There's money. Yeah, that didn't that didn't that didn't last long, did it? I do. Damn, man. He was very good at decorating, wasn't he? That looks like it is probably painful. What is that? Whatever that is. Is that a purse? Did he have a man purse? You know what? He, he can have a man purse. He's dead now. Yeah, I don't think he's a good guy either. He's a little too convenient. I do like you can move the camera in these scenes. Actually, kind of nice. So after this, I'm gonna take a quick break to go start dinner. So I'll be, I'll probably be right back. I'll just put it, be right back. Where up. are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was. What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. But I will tell you she values her privacy. Were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. How, Reed. How do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of... Poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed, marvelous. Why the pause? Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. <laughs> and what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician, I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, 
providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours, you'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. He's gonna be creepy. Also, wow, I actually didn't see this going that way. Kinda cool. A dawn we ride! We rode. Right. You missed a crate. I probably missed a lot of crates. I will say so far, I think this is worth the money. This isn't a, I don't think this is a full price game, is it? Let me actually check, I'm curious. Dr. I was gonna Swansea, thank goodness. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane. For I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy. Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King and Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Why are you making the woman do it? Sexist pig. <laughs> Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. So I do want to say something before I hop off for my break, you know, to go quickly, um, just to hop off to start dinner. Um, those who do want to get this game, get this from Best Buy, if you're getting it for console, because if you pre-order it before it comes out, you get a $10 gift card. And I'm not doing that to try to sell it, but that's what I was actually going to do. So if you do want to pick up this game, it is... Um, you can get it pre-ordered right now on Best Buy, and I highly, especially if you have a Gamers Club thing, I highly recommend doing that because you get a $10 gift card. I don't know why. I really honestly don't know why they're offering that, but I wouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. In fact, let me see if they're still doing it. I think they are. And the game's only 50 bucks. Um, Spaghetti, this is 50 bucks. I don't know why you're freaking out over it. You don't trust Best Buy? Well, I'm just saying, that's what they're saying on here, is you get a um, you get a $10 gift card. Again, it's just, I'm trying to help you guys. Hey, Miko. My baby girl. Alright, I'm back. Um... going on in the chat rooms um the DLC for anyone that's curious actually comes with it when you pre-order it no matter where I actually have the DLC for this um, on my game because they gave it to me and they're they are awesome I'll show you guys the DLC if I can access it yeah I was just starting dinner the hunters heirlooms is that the DLC you're talking about it comes with every pre-order uh, pre or you can buy it for $2.99 they actually offer it for two ninety nine, at least online. I'm trying to see how I can access that stuff. I may not be able to access it yet. Yeah, I don't think I can access it yet. That's fine. It's okay, Jonathan. I'll see you later. Well, I mean, I guess for Canadians, you can wait for a sale. You can do better than that. I see glowies. Give me glowies. Bastards, I see glowies. 
Try helping the man? Oh, come on, you bastard! I won't bite! Sir, please! You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass! I'll let you bleed, be more polite. Insulting a good Samaritan? Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes, that's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. The quality of blood indicates how much XP you will obtain from this particular citizen. The higher the blood quality, the more... Oh, I wonder if these are the ones you're not allowed to kill. Okay. I don't want to... No, I don't really want to buy the junk guy. This fading light into the shadow. Dance with him the dance of life and death. I don't want to do this. You're going to make me, aren't you? No I more. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. I'm going to leave you standing there for a minute. I'm going to go steal shit. Yeah, I don't I don't care about that. I just want to steal shit. Come on, man. Did I black out? Whoa, I feel giddy. What? What happened? I guess we can't help him. Okay. So I'm thinking we can kill the enemies, we just can't kill It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no famished hunter can run for long. Uh, technically I had plenty to eat before. I'm okay. I was a good boy and I ate my dinner. I mean, that's kind of what happened. I guess we're not supposed to kill citizens. We're only supposed to kill the enemy. I think that's what they're trying to go I with. I cannot enter. There are shinies in there. Why does it torture me so? Um, I guess we'll find out. So nice of people just to leave random shit around. Is there anything I can steal? It's an art. It's a game. I can steal anything. I Game, see, just to be kleptomaniacs. Only when it's convenient. Was there a shiny? No. It lied to me. Lied to me! Also, Comcast is actually working tonight. That's weird. Oh, it's probably because I'm getting business class soon. I'm going to pay them just so I can be able to stream for you people. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide-and-seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. That was Thank quick. You. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. For the love of God, don't let her be a reference to what I think she's a reference to. I would like to ask a few questions first. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. 
How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. I liked, um... I, I do enjoy this game. Um, Lost Boys is not a terrible movie. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. I'm, I'm glad you guys are happy about it. It's, it's insane. Um, I will say the um, rep that I was, that I've been working with, has been very nice, which is, which is a very nice change because normally they're, at, they're complete idiots. She actually had to get the same thing, so she felt my pain. It's right to assume Doctor Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The Administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. There are two sequels? Are they terrible? Because I never even heard of them. You hear a sassy tone, right? If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. You can definitely tell this is an indie. Um, and I'm not saying that bad either, but I'm just saying with like the movement of the face and Thank stuff. Thank you, Nurse Crane. And I like indie, so. I like that I get to show you guys these kinds of indie games. And again, I don't know if any of the devs are watching this or even if they care, but if they are, huge thank you. I was so looking forward to your game. And I was actually going to buy it anyway. Due to the influenza, this hospital can no longer take any patients. Hospital full, please go back home. What's going on? Why is Kitty crying? Oh, she's having a nightmare. That's why she's crying. I think she's a reference to Dr. Crane from Batman. I might be stupid, though. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks. The ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm I not sure like I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. I like him. Guys, I think I found a character like. How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation is alright? It's fucking awful. We lack everything. And it's getting worse every day. We're in Venezuela now? So what do you do exactly in this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. I've been an ambulance driver since... Too long, I guess. I'll bring sick people here night and day. It's a dirty job, but I get it done. Most of the time. Oh, well good. I'm glad I was able to show you guys games you can enjoy. Since you're on the front line, how is the sanitary situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. It's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing here. I escaped through the hospital's garden, but I lost my wallet when I was running. You left an infected patient outside the hospital. That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want, but be careful, doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body back. Yeah, I'm about that. So we n oh wow, you can get side missions. Medical checkup. Do you need any medical help, Milton? I'm fine, Doc. Physically, at least. But I would give everything to be in a better place right now. Let's ask personal questions. Okay, we need hints. So we need to find his wallet. Let's trade. I'd them. like to see your goods. Wise choice, Doctor Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. 
<laughs> He's secretly American. That is a nice shotgun. What can I sell? Well, you don't want to buy shit from me right now. That is a nice shotgun. Oh wait, though. So we so we have a side mission, which is pretty cool. I think this is the outfit you get with the DLC, but I'm not sure. I have to see if I can switch to it. Probably can later. Let's see, can I? Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. Merchant. No, where's the mission he wants me to do? Take me to the hospital. Find your office. Okay, so I don't think we can do that other one yet. So that's act they've actually done a lot to this game, and I actually really like that, like I said. Huh. It's cool. So I guess right- okay. Enter the backyard garden. Okay, so we can do it. It's right here. Okay. Backyard garden. So we probably have to go in to go there. But I always want to look around. Like I made a Venezuelan joke. I think it might actually be a thing. Let's see if we can do it from the side here. We probably can't, but let's see. Well, I can see him saying fuck life after being attacked by a patient. Stay at home. Influenza. Frequently complicated with pneumonia. To prevent any cases of Spanish flu, stay home. Spanish flu was different from the uh, Black Plague, wasn't it? So this is a completely different uh, thing that's going on. So this is after the Black Plague, then, if I remember. Can I just walk into these and break them? Yep. Alrighty then. He has the power to break boxes just by accidentally walking into them. Except this one. Fuck this one. He gets this he gets what he deserves. Oh really? Is that what we're doing? Is that the game we're playing tonight? Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. Okay, so we have to go through here? How do we get to the garden, I wonder? No. Which door works? No. Can I just jump the fence? No, because white vampires can't jump. Also, I do kind of hope we get some vampire requests and stuff like that from the, from the um, Patreon. That would be cool to draw. I say that. I just want to, I just want to tell Bosco he gets to draw vampires because I think that would make him happy. And you guys want to make Bosco happy. Yep, I already got that one. Wait, no, I see those guys. Fuck that. Wait, no. There's a door, though. Can I do this without getting caught? Quarantine, influenza, keep out. Okay. Yeah, I ain't going near there. I'm not stupid. Or I can do that. Steal shit. I probably have to go this way. Or I'm just going the completely wrong way. It's locked. Then unlock. Why do you not know how to break locks? Man, they're everywhere. But I don't want to start shit, but at the same time, I want to start shit. So it's around here somewhere. 
there are guards, which is a problem. He's level 10 and I'm level... F oh, no, 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 no. This is not going to end well for me. It's locked, all right. Okay, so I can't get that way. So how am I supposed to get this? You just need to be a dollar. Dollar patrons can request art. We because we hit over 2k, dollar patrons can request art. Because I am a benevolent god. I wonder how if someone's ever going to take that out at, like making that joke if someone's going to be like make a video and go, "She thinks she's a god." See guys, she's completely spoiled or something like that. I do like killing rats. Also, how am I going to have to pass them to get to this guy? what I want, so let's So that one's this over here. How the hell do I get in there? There is just something I'm not seeing. Because I can hear it. Oh, wait, is it right here? Am I stupid? Yes. Shut up! <laughs> Oh, he did. Oh, there's a few of them, too. Party time. <laughs> Fuck your scream! <laughs> Holy shit! Here he's an evil god. I'd be but better. Oh, um, let me go ahead. Hold on, I'll give you the I'll give you the post, because we've got the other one. Hold on, give me ten seconds. Okay, not gonna lie, that was that was pretty good. I actually kinda like our, our respawn thing. Give me a second. That's the additional bonus one. Where is the other one? I wish we could pin stuff. That's the one thing I hope Patreon ends up getting. I mean, they just did an update that allows you to tell people when you've um, updated posts, which is pretty nice. There you go. If you want to make the request, you have until the 11th, too. Alright, let's try this again. What is that? Okay. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I need to get my stamina up. Remind me when we upgrade to do the stamina. Get off me! I might switch from two-handed because I don't think we're strong enough for two-handed. Let me switch that. I'm going to try the bludgeon. Come here. I played Bloodborne. I know what I'm doing. I have played Bloodborne. Yeah, the stamina needs to go up badly. I can see why. It is Bloodborne joke. Actually works. Oh, that does some damage. Yep. Oh, now YouTube finally alerts me to comments. <laughs> Thank you, YouTube. Photograph in a wallet. Photograph of a smiling, loving couple with a few words written on the back. Milton and Pippa forever. Aww. First we're going to make sure there's nothing left and then we're going back to take the wallet back. I 
I feel like there should be more around here. Mine now. It's locked. Why can't I pick locks? Huh. Quarantine, keep out of this area. Okay. I was just stuck for a second. I have not completely broken this game yet. Guys, do you understand what that means? You can you can request any character you want. Probably gonna have Kisa dressed um I wanna I want somebody who dresses a vampire hunter and someone a vampire. Kisa will probably be the vampire because she's an albino and that's kind of Fuck you, cliche, I know. But I don't care. But you guys get to request who you want as a vampire and a vampire hunter if you want. Public notice. Prevent influenza. Spanish. Cover each cough and sneeze with a handkerchief. Walk to work. Do not spit. Drink from your own cup. Avoid crowds. If ill, go to bed and send it for a doctor to make a mask. Cool. Means I'm losing my touch. No, it means this is a good game. Even 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 my touch doesn't want to break a good game. Is this a I hear screaming. Hi Whoa, what the heck are you doing here? Should be careful not to use all my bullets. Also, I should make sure those things are... Wait, was there anything I can take there? Yep, I'm not questioning that. <laughs> thank you. Actually starting to look really good now that I'm losing all the weight. Like, with my new haircut, I look really cute. I'm really happy about it. Oh, okay, so I'm good thing I killed that guy. Otherwise, he could have done really bad things. Let's make sure there's nothing over here for us to collect. No. Okay. I know I can run. Hi! I need to go give this to a man. Where the hell did he go? Milton! Oh, there he is. Hi, Milton. I brought your present. It's safe for it, isn't it? The Pembroke Good evening, so Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I retrieved your wallet. With all the money and a certain picture. Well, yeah. Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway, to remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody's as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. Oh. What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Pippa's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. During the war, I witnessed a few couples, just like you, come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other. And that's all that matters. Um, well, I mean, that is kind of what it was like back then. Vampire came out for, um, reviewers. You do realize you could both get fired. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. Hey, I'm okay with that. Goodbye, Milton. Can I talk to this guy? Perhaps I should Good evening, sir. The offer from that cabinet. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before, 
at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now. Eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. Um, I'll be right back, guys. I just need to go check my food. And also, hi, Thrax, sweetie. Milton must die. Do not hurt Milton. He's a good boy. All right, I'm back. Thank you all for your patience. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please, speak freely. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. It's more than enough. In any case, the personnel of a hospital are much more important to me than the building. Don't be misled by appearances, Dr. Reed. This hospital does not lack talented people. It just lacks hope. Um, I'm trying- I'm gonna try a corn dog. I haven't had one since my surgery. What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? Some are really good, and others are not so good. But during this troubled period, there is no time for slander. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? Some are really good, and others are not so good. Oh, whoop. But during this troubled period, there is I'm no up. time for slander. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. I think he's still in shock over that. He thinks she's dead. Tell me more about cherished people, then. Nurse Branigan is a pearl. She is the most helpful and dedicated nurse I've ever worked with. A clever and cheerful woman. You really seem to admire her skills. I'll go even further. If she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner. That's right, women can be doctors, I guess. Any opinion about the management? I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve. But I must admit, he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical officer. Don't get me wrong, Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office down again. I didn't sound like it's too good for me. Do you need any medical assistance yourself, Doctor? Come on, don't be ridiculous, dear colleague. Can't do anything there. Okay, so we need more hints. Okay. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. All right. Talk to them. So we've talked to everyone out here. What is this? City, you! Life saved by efficient medical aid is a blow struck to the of the flu epidemic. Volunteers make a difference.
Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Let's see if we can meet anybody else. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I believe we're going You're to be young. colleagues. Reed? Yes, I've been informed about your arrival. I'm Waverly Aykroyd. Welcome aboard, I suppose. Does my arrival inconvenience you in some way, Dr. Aykroyd? Let us just say that I don't particularly share Dr. Swansea's enthusiasm for hiring you. What we need here are reliable professionals, not overrated dabblers. Um, thanks, Viking, but I can't do that. I have to have protein every day and actual protein and stuff like that. I have to have meat and stuff like that. Otherwise, my organs can shut down. And I'd really rather not have my organs shut down. Also, he seems like an asshole. If you have a problem with me, Dr. Ackroyd, please feel free to tell me. Dr. Swansea has imposed your presence on this hospital without asking anyone's advice. The benefit of his position. But I don't agree with it. I know we've never met before. But I believe this hospital could use all the help it can get. You will agree with that, I'm sure. Oh, but I have heard about you, Dr. Reed. Of course, you can't say the same about me, since I have not wasted my time courting the press. Well, I can't show you the DLC yet because I can't access it. Aren't you too old for such jealousy? It really won't do you any good, you know. Don't be ridiculous, Dr. Reed. A simple glance is enough for me to know you have nothing for me to envy. All right, let's see how much uh, let's see how much protein is in jerky. Also, I hate jerky, but I'm going to There's only 7 grams of protein in jerky. Most meats have more than that. And that's in a large piece of jerky. That's not good for me. Also, I don't like jerky. What's wrong with you people? Since your tenure in this hospital is longer than mine, Perhaps you can tell me more about this place. Let's just say I'm tired of the carelessness around me. I have always respected the skills of Dr. Swansea, but over time his enthusiasm has become displaced. Carelessness? Exactly what are you talking about? We're here to save lives. The people who trust us are not volunteering for experimentation. They're here to be healed. I don't intend to run any radical experiments, Doctor. Even if I, as any good practitioner should, express an interest in pushing the boundaries of medical research. Modern medical methods were created through audacity and ego. But there are rules in our line of work, and they're here to protect our patients. This guy's a dick, and he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna be a problem. I don't know what you've heard about me. But I have already proved my value as a practitioner. I don't question your skills, Dr. Reed, but your motive. Is it money? Fame? Or are you truly dedicated? And what exactly is that supposed to mean? I served in the war just like you. But unlike you, I did not use the wounded to play the modern sorcerer. Be careful what you insinuate, Dr. Aykroyd. I only want you to admit you used those men to improve your theories. What? You're an asshole. This is ridiculous. My blood transfusion technique saved many lives, and you know it. You see? That is exactly what I hate about people like you. You avoid this kind of accusation instead of facing reality. Oh, you're a dick, aren't you? What did you do in the military? Let's not do that. It seems you have bad memories of your military service. I refuse to see this industrial slaughter as scientific progress. War only reveals the worst in men. We can at least agree on something, Dr. Aykroyd. Lot to us, we are a bad doctor. We are a vampire. We're a very bad doctor. Goodbye, Thank asshole. You for your time. We'll talk later. He sounds like he's mad that he didn't get fame and fortune when I guess we got popular. So he's taking it out on us. He wanted to become some big hero doctor, and he didn't become that doctor. Or he could be a snake in the grass. We'll see.
You have the right to disapprove of our methods, and you will kindly apologize. I hope we have someone named Dr. West because that made me giggle. Good evening, Doctor. I believe we're going to be working together. Dr. Reed. Dr. Swansea informed us of your arrival, but I could not dare to believe we'd have such good fortune. Such an honor, sir. <laughs> Thank you. And you are? I am Thoreau Strickland, Dr. Thoreau Strickland. I'm a great admirer of your work, Dr. Reed. Oh, come on, no one gets that reference? Oh, that makes me sad. If someone gets the reference before I finish this conversation, say it in the chat. Please, could you tell me something about yourself? I'm a great admirer of your work concerning blood transfusion, Dr. Reed. I run my own experiments. I'm convinced it's the future. I made the joke and I'm starting to think he's him. I'm going to continue and see if anyone in the chat actually answers. What made you choose to be a doctor? I'm not ashamed to admit you and your work have inspired me. I am honored to have the opportunity to work by your side. It's always a pleasure to share scientific and medical knowledge with someone eager to learn. I'll be glad to help you if I can. This epidemic may be the century's most terrible disaster, but I'm convinced that we, as doctors, are the only ones able to defeat it. I based my technique on my mentor's research. He helped me perfect my method. What is yours? I'd rather not talk about it. For now, it's just theories and first approach. My process is purely experimental and unsuccessful. As long as you're cautious and methodical, you may remain empty-handed, but you won't fail. You're not the first one to warn me, but I am convinced knowledge is the main weapon against the ravages of this epidemic. Wait a minute, give me a second. I need to check something really quick. Because he's ringing bells for me. Not the... Not the goddamn movie. Not the goddamn movie. Not the goddamn movie. Need the fucking book, please. You're only gonna... There you are. Okay, so if no one got the reference, I was referencing... Reanimator. Which is a book by H.P. Lovecraft. And I'm... He's not the doctor I'm thinking of. I need to look up... I'm looking up the doctor's names from the, mo from the book. Nope. Okay. I thought maybe he was one of the other doctors from the actual novel. What can you tell me about the Pembroke? Well, it has always been an honor to work with Dr. Swansea. But with your arrival, I can't think of a better opportunity to learn about blood transfusion. You seem quite optimistic. It's a rare and precious attitude in these difficult times. I'm convinced that this epidemic is a test. A test of endurance and dedication for us men of science. Questions remain about our capacity to resolve the situation. True, true. Last summer, during the first wave of the epidemic, I used to joke with Milton about the extra work. We're not smiling now. He does look a lot like, um... Jeffrey Combs' version of him. <laughs> Do you need help with anything in particular? Well, yes, maybe. I'm waiting for a batch of products I ordered for my personal research, yet my supplier seems to have vanished. Do you want me to play the errand boy for you? Oh no, Dr. Reed. But if you went personally to his shop, what with your reputation and all, he wouldn't dare to refuse the products I need. I see. Well, give me the address, for I may pass by if I have time. Okay, um, Thrax, we actually have a reading of it that Toast and I did. Toast and I, and I think Shadow did, on, um, this, on um, the Chaotic Stories, which reminds me, we'll be getting back to Mary Shelley's Frankenstein this week. Do you guys want me to do it on Twitch, or do you want me to do it on Chaotic Stories? If I do it on Chaotic Stories, that means we have more of a chance of getting views and stuff there, and getting that built up, which is what I want to do. Citizen investigations are displayed here, categorized by district. You can start a new citizen quest by tracking it with X. Okay. 
What do you think of Dr. Ackroyd's aversion to modern medical methods? It's a shame he's so narrow-minded. Dr. Swansea taught me that science is about exploring uncharted territory. I'm convinced that's true. With the influenza and all that's going on, you should put your differences aside, don't you think? Why is it so difficult to work together? I believe that if Dr. Ackroyd had been the one to discover the transfusion process, he would be the first to recommend its use. So you believe it's just a question of jealousy and pride? Dr. Ackroyd is as proud as he is blinded by his obsolete concept of medical science. So I was right. I can't do anything with him yet. I can ask him any personal questions. Oh! Tell me more about your willingness to experiment with new medical techniques. Harvey Fiddick is a patient suffering from a severe injury that could cripple him if not treated correctly. I'm convinced your blood transfusion technique could help him. What is it you really want? To save him? Or to prove your point? Fair question. I want nothing but to save my patient, Dr. Reed. Especially since I know Mr. Fiddick's story. Hmm. Tell me Mr. Fiddick's story. Our first diagnosis was compromised because Mr. Fiddick lied to us about the real origin of his injury. He first claimed it was an accident. But why would he hide such crucial information from us? Because he is a proud father. Ashamed of putting his children at risk because of his own negligence. Huh. Nice. This personal involvement could also appear to be a lack of impartiality. You must know that a good surgeon must remain neutral. I agree. But that does not excuse Dr. Ackroyd's behavior. A man who did not even take time to converse with his patient. Do you think keeping his distance was a mistake? All I know is that I'm taking care of human beings with desires, hopes and fears. Not some biological machine comprised of blood, bones and flesh. I like that Thrax is the only one that, uh... I can actually do it on both channels, believe it or not. I forgot I can multi-stream now. Well, I can. I'll have to do it on Goodbye, the. Goodbye, uh, Doctor Strickland. I'll have to set up the thing, the restream yeah, for that. So I know you guys want to go and uh, check out other things, but I also want to finish talking to these guys. Then maybe Good we'll evening, do some data war, or we'll I'm just Dr. keep doing Reed. this. I like this. May I help you? I don't know if a third opinion is needed. Your colleagues are already arguing about my condition. I see. Would you mind telling me more about your situation? I'm Harvey Fiddick. All I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. Hmm? I... I might do mesmerize on him. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Fiddick. I'm just a regular guy waiting to get his arm fixed. So I can return to work. And to my family. I was more curious about what you were doing before being hospitalized. I'm a carpenter. And a good one, too. But that means I need both arms to feed my family, Dr. Reed. Tell me about the doctors who are arguing about your case. Strickland and Ackroyd. They both want the best for me, but there's a lot of pride there. Doctors are no different from carpenters, it seems. What do you mean? I often had professional arguments with rivals on a building site. Difference is I disagreed about wooden nails, not flesh and bones. Hmm. Are you satisfied with your treatment here? Well, it's clear that I've chosen a bad time to be injured. Forgive my bluntness, but you seem overwhelmed by cases of the flu. I won't lie to you about it. I'm afraid we are. Are you sure you don't want to operate yourself, Dr. Reed? I have the feeling you're very capable, and your colleagues seem to think so too. In other circumstances, you would be right. But for now, I don't think I can take on the responsibility. My apologies. Oh my god, Bendis did end up ruining Superman. Holy shit. Bendis really did ruin Superman. He pulled that SJW bullshit. <laughs> so are 
sorry, somebody, literally, someone actually ended up um, tweeting me the thing, and I don't. The artist is the art is really good. I'll have to say that the art is good. The writing is bullshit, and I love how somebody. This is a comment why somebody sent it to me on Twitter. Spoilers: Green Lantern used the mute button. Heh. Oh, he fucking. Like, the, the page someone showed me is a chick going, No, stop! I have rights! <sighs> Don't pull that shit in a fucking Superman comic. Okay, no, no, no talking about bad things tonight. We're talking about good things. Tell me about your injury, Harvey. Why do you feel so guilty about it? My wife died because of me. And now I may lose everything because I've been careless enough to hurt myself. What an arsehole. Looks like we'll be getting a new Hitman, which will be the first one since they left, um, Square Enix. How could your job be responsible for your wife's death? I was working a double. She went out to bring me a hot meal and got caught in a German bomb raid. You can't hold yourself responsible for your injury, Mr. Fiddick. Unless you tried to hurt yourself. Of course I didn't hurt myself. But I can't work until my arm is fixed. My children need to eat, Doctor. How can you ask JW up? How can you ask JW up? Superman, though. It's Superman. He's the symbol for good. Tell me more about the death of your wife, Harvey. 1915. I was in the army. Building workshops for the Royal Flying Corps. Helen was happy I wasn't sent to the front. What happened? The Germans sent Zeppelins to bomb the construction site, but they missed their target. My wife was bringing my dinner when the bombs fell. Holy shit. There's no way we're getting a Devil May Cry 5. Wow. Please let it be with the original creator. I'm sorry for your loss. So many died during the bombings. I served in France and witnessed the carnage there. I would like to say that she didn't suffer. Truth is, I have no idea. I just know that I'm all that me kids have. Poor little bleeders. Aww. How are your children after losing their mother? They were smaller then. The only good thing about this is my Ellen didn't bring them with her that night. I'm curious, what does this do? Did I get more info from him? Oh! No, no, we're not hurting him. No, no, no hurting the daddy. That would have been really freaking bad if we had done that. Um, thank you. And Dark Starters. I never played Dark Starters. Yeah, I hope, I don't, it doesn't look like right now we can, but I'm pretty sure we will be able to later on. Reach the pharmacy. Let's go do the pharmacy one. I think that's outside. What? Where is it? Where is it? I'm sorry you ended up on a plane and cold medical bench, sir. I understand you in the very District status serious. I can't I guess I'm too far away from where I need to Come here. There we go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, nope. We're not going there. Cause we need to evolve. So we're too far away right now. Okay, there we go. I can wait. Thank you. Very, very persistent on where it wants you to go. It's like very demanding. It's easier a dead end though. Is that the map? 
I guess not anymore. Okay, I think I know where we're going. I remember seeing that before. I like doing the side missions, though. Let's not be dicks to the good doctors. Let's just be dick to that to Ackroyd. I think Ackroyd's gonna be the one I'm gonna be a dick to the most. Oh wait, they may not. They may not know it's us now. Please, God, don't come after me. Oh, good. You actually don't. Know. Yeah, no, I'm just. I'm looking for something. Sorry, guys. I'm totally not a vampire. I'm just very lost right now. Can you can you give me directions? Okay, I went backwards. I went the wrong way. Okay, so when we're in this outfit, they don't see us. Yes, I understand, Die, sir. Fanny. Okay, now you're just being a douche. Okay, I need to switch out my weapon so I can stun. try to pass by. You decided to be the dick about this. It's like that. All you had to do was let me pass by. That's all you had to do. Besides, why would a vampire come back here? Shit. Let's see if there's a back path we can take. This was the 1900s, wasn't it? This game's the 1900s, I think. I don't see if there's anything in here. I wonder if I can use the back area so I don't have to deal with that. Might be able to, actually. Aw, oh, man, I don't want to deal with you. Fine. Nope. Bad boy. Ah! Dang it, I'm gonna have a corn dog. They said that you put me so far back. What'd you do? Would you do that? Also, don't talk while you're eating. Why would you do that? Oh shit! All right, we're taking the easy route. It's locked, all right. Then unlock it. Shoot. Excuse me, gentlemen. I'm just going to pass I by. Said stay away, sir. Okay, I'm leaving. See, this is me leaving. I'm switching to. It's only one of those little buggers. Round two, motherfucker! Round two, motherfucker! Yeah, the parry doesn't work too well. I, I, I keep forgetting the stamina. I keep forgetting the stamina. I really need to work on that. Shut up! That's gonna be better for my stamina and then take the gun.
He's like, every fucking time. These guys are gonna lose patience in me really quick. Oh, that takes stamina. I like that there's a piece of grass that was blocking me. Last warning, sir. Yeah, stamina is gonna be my big thing. It's it definitely is gonna be basically uh, blood bloodborne at this point. This is during the epidemic of the Spanish flu, if that helps. And I guess during this no the Spanish war. <laughs> Fuck off. You're lucky you were protecting goodies. You're lucky you were protecting more goodies. Ooh, large knife. This yeah. is an impressive knife. There's a n It's mine now. Name engraved on the metal. Clay. What kind of man puts his name on a knife? A man that thinks it's a really nice knife? Also, I did all that for nothing? Okay. I'm okay with getting the knife, though. Did we miss anything over here? I'm just making sure I didn't miss any secrets. Yeah, I'm gonna save... Um, I'm really liking this game so far. Okay, this is the way we came. We didn't get that before. So this is not the way we came. This is a different pathway. I cannot enter. Can someone please get me a fucking lockpick? I hear screaming. It's locked, all right. Well, then, sucks whoever lives over there. Wrong button. Now I expect that to be the run button. Oh no, this is easier than Bloodborne. But you... I, the references are there. I also hope we get a Bloodborne too. Or... <coughs> excuse me. I get a Bloodborne statue. That would be nice too. It's over here. Money! Could I be going the right way now? What about the story? I've given the fuck up on it. More shit. Actually, I might be going the right way now. I hear screamies. I hear screamies. Am I gonna meet a new friend that I don't want to meet? It's gonna suck. Yeah, it's gonna suck. Hold on. It's gonna hurt. Oh! Shit, that's a boss. Oh, that's a big boss. Fuck this. Sorry, I didn't mean to bother you. Uh, I'll be going now. Oh, fuck. So we don't talk about my stupidity ever. Oh, shit. Fuck okay, it, I'm gonna die anyway. I don't think we were supposed to be doing this yet. Or this might be a bonus. Yep, I'm thinking this might be like a bonus boss. Oh god! So about your stupidity. We're gonna come back here and kick his ass after I get some rest and, and upgrade. To be fair, I proved already. <laughs> I don't know, Panda's very much a gentleman. When did Panda stop being a gentleman? That's my question. This better be fucking worth it. Last warning, sir. Suck a dick, asshole. 
I don't want to be here any more than you want me here. Oh, fuck me. It's over there, isn't it? I'm going to go back and do this mission later. Because I have a feeling I need to level up before I do. Yes, I'm leaving. Suck a dick. I think you can come back and do the mission, so that's not. I said stay away, sir. I said suck my dick. My vampire dick. Never mind. Probably not good that I said the last part. Pandas aren't gentlemen. They are cute. Just go upstairs and rest. I think that's what we need. Also, I need a break from the game. It's a good game, though. Thank you for the 200 bits, my Tazzy love. How are you doing tonight, Tazzy? And you too, Panda. I mean, there's obviously more we can people we can talk to. It's actually a lot of people we can talk to. I want to talk to all these people, but I'm getting tired, so I need a break. So I'm going to go rest upstairs. Thelma's going to be insane. We shall play with Thelma later. I bet you uh, Ackroyd's pissed off we got a nicer place. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. I'm enjoying this game a lot more than Relegated I did Agony. to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. Blood sample of William. Uh, we made things. Don't have enough to do that. Always, always, always do your own. Okay, how do we do this? Huh. Okay, I'm still missing stuff. Right. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep it's good. on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time now. No! Alright. I was looking at- Oh wait, that was the stuff I think I got with the DLC. I know it won't let me do anything right now. Panda, I think this we would enjoy this. Fuck you, I look dashing. This is the DLC, I think. Yeah, I think this is all the DLC. Alright, let's go ahead and level up, and then I'm gonna end it. Enough. I want to look at some other stuff. You will block your attacks. Coagulation, blockage barrier, create an invisible barrier. I want that. I want that. Let me see what else you have. That'll probably be useful too. I feel better. But yeah, I'm gonna go for stamina a lot. <laughs> he does. He is looking dapper as fuck. Also a little stoned. Just a little. Yeah, apparently someone reported me for not being marked not safe for work, which is weird since I did mark it, but I guess it must have been to stay here until my research is complete. I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? 
He seems okay with it now. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. We'll be definitely doing more of this. Um, yes, quit. I really enjoy this game. Um, we're going to be doing more of this and God of War another day. Right now, I'm, I might come back later tonight. I don't know. Right now, I'm going to go rest. I, I really enjoy... Okay, Panda, if I can be straight out with you, I really enjoyed this game. I personally really, really like this game. And if you pre-ordered, again, if you guys are getting it on console and stuff, get it through Best Buy if you can because you get a $10 gift card. And all of the pre-orders get the same DLC. And you can, if you buy it on Steam, I think, even if you miss the pre-order thing, you can get, you can buy the DLC. <sighs> Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys on Discord. I'm going to go chill out. Bye, everyone. Thank you for joining me tonight. And I still feel your power. You changed my voice. You locked it in and put out any fire. And still with one touch, you got me where you want me, yeah. And it's like a rush. The waves that crash and set me in. You carved it deep into my heart. That you're the king of lions. The look of blue.